Let's talk making a murder. Welcome back to building my business. Let's talk making a murder. This series was held in the city that I actually grew up in, where I was born and raised, which is Manitowoc. And I'm gonna talk to you guys about stuff that no one has talked about in all of these YouTube conspiracy videos. The topic I'm gonna talk about is how cool a city Manitowoc is. I recently flew back to Manitowoc and on my very, very long flight, three and a half hours, I did a lot of thinking. I was thinking to myself, wow, I grew up in this city and now a very small city, 30,000 people. And recently, Netflix has dropped two series uh, about making a murder which paints the city in a really bad light. So I wanted to take it upon myself to talk about my trip and give you guys just my overall thoughts on Manitowoc itself. Once I flew into O'Hare Airport, I decided to drive about two and a half hours from O'Hare all the way up to Manitowoc. It's a very dark drive, especially in the middle of the night and especially during the winter. So during the dark, quiet drive, it gave me time to kind of think about what I wanted to do once I hit my home city of Manitowoc. So since this is a very small city, it was easy to go for a run and hit some local areas that I can recall. So as you can see right here, this is one of my childhood schools I went to. I think I went here from third grade to fifth grade. Nice Catholic school. Anyways, as you can see, I was able to also hit my old duplex that my parents rented while I was growing up. Luckily, we only lived here for a small amount of time. I think I was about five years old to 10 years old. It was rough around the edges. Uh, it, it looked sort of like this when I was growing up here. While I was out shopping for last minute Christmas gifts, I decided to stop at Dollar Tree. This is a great place to shop because everything's a buck. But also in the same plaza, there is a store that, to me, I have a lot of great memories. Shopgo. Growing up, Shopgo was the big department store that we always shopped at. There wasn't any other bigger stores. But more recently, Super Walmart has established a presence in my city and I think a lot of people go here now. I even went here to get some stuff as you can see. Also in the same area is Office Max. I want to talk about Office Max only because that was my first real jobs. For dinner, we decided to check out the downtown scene of Manitowoc. And that's where we landed at the Courthouse Pub. The Courthouse was really, really nice. They let my six-year-old son have a root beer at the bar. I don't know if Cheesecake would allow my son to sit at the bar, but it was really, really nice being in a small city where, hey, boo, it's cool. You can put your son there, it's fine. Also downtown, uh, as you guys can see in my previous video, I took time to visit with the old childhood friend Jenny. She runs a store called In The Moment Restoration. Take a moment guys to watch it. She's super, super talented. So let's talk about the night scene. Um, obviously growing up in a small city, I didn't hang out a lot at night since I wasn't really cool. But now that I'm back, we decided to hang out. It was great that I was able to hang out with my family members who we all met up. The first place we decided to hang out was called Ryan's, or short, which is Roy's, which is Ryan's on York. So not only did they have a massive selection of IPAs, they also had great food as well. And right down the street from Ryan's was another bar called Shooter's Malone. Uh, I don't know who Shooter's Malone is, but anyways, uh, it was a really nice establishment. It was nice 
having a great time with my friends and family. When I look back on just my entire trip there, uh, it was very short. I wish it was longer. Uh, a lot of things came to my mind. Not only did I celebrate 18 birthdays there, um, I learned a new game on my most recent trip, which is called Horses. But I wanted to talk about Manitowoc itself. So Manitowoc itself, there's a lot of things that I can say. Um, it was my childhood home. And ultimately, uh, there's, there's memories. Good memories and bad memories. Uh, definitely not the making of murder memories that I want other people to think about. I just want to let you guys know that in that city, that city and how I was raised helped me to get on the path I am on today, which is laser focused in my small business. Uh, watch my Friday vlogs, by the way. But also just who I am as a person. I mean, your first 18 years of your life really, really shapes who you are as a person. So I give a lot of credit to Manitowoc and how I was raised on who I am today and who I hope to be tomorrow. So that's my shout out to Manitowoc. I wish it was more exciting. Uh, I wish I could say more about the city. But at the end of the day, it's a city of 30,000 people. I was born and I was raised there. And I just want to let you guys know the city itself. Uh, if you guys are busy watching Making a Murder. So anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and list them below. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next Friday on Building My Business.